The Fluoroscan Insight FD Mini C Arm is designed to provide fluoroscopic visualization of patient extremities. The key components of the system are the monitor, the C Arm, and the body. To start the system, press the system on switch at the bottom of the machine. The monitor is a 24 inch HD color touchscreen that can be pivoted and tilted for use. There are handles to help with repositioning the monitor. The keyboard with operating controls is directly mounted on the monitor. The C-arm can be removed from the white clamp. It has two locks, one for up and down motion, and the other for orbital motion. The C-arm can also rotate horizontally without a lock. Once the desired position is reached, the C-arm can be locked in place. The X-ray source is located on the C-arm and houses the sterile field controls. These sterile field controls have the option to save, rotate, adjust brightness and contrast, take an X-ray, adjust KV and or MA, change acquisition mode, cycle through noise suppressions, and turn on the laser. To turn on the laser, press the laser button. It will automatically shut off after 60 seconds. To keep the laser on, hold the button for about 2 seconds. Flip the C-arm to locate the collimator. Slide the collimator over to switch between full field and limited field. Limited field is used to magnify a smaller area. The detector located here can be rotated 90 degrees both ways. The casters at the back of the machine can be used to prevent movement of the rear wheels. There are three settings, locked, free movement in all directions, and forward back only. The foot switch can be used to perform these functions. The black pedal is used to save images. The orange pedal is to take the x-ray. The black button in the middle is used to print the image. The printer is housed in the shelf for printing images. To shut down the system after use, simply click shut down button on the home screen. To store the C-arm, clamp the C-arm to the blue rail. Align the white clamp to be in front of the black line on the railing to keep the machine compact. Flip the monitor forward and down. The foot switch can be stored in the bracket at the front of the system. The power cord can be unplugged and wrapped around the cord guides on the back of the cabinet. For operating room use, small labels on the drape indicate how to fit the drape to the X-ray head and to the detector. We will now look at how to use the software. The home screen has three color-coded buttons, Perform, Review, and Shut Down. There is also the option to change physician preferences. Simply click System Configuration, Physician Preferences. Here there are many options. For example, if worried about losing images, enable the Auto Save option here. To start taking images, click the Perform button. 
Using the touch screen and keyboard, type in the patient information, which will require a last name and patient ID number. Then click Save to Work List. Lastly, click Perform to display the image acquisition screen. The image acquisition screen has the cumulative DAP in the bottom left. The function buttons along the top, the image here in the center, and the film strip of images on the right. The number of images in the film strip can be changed here. To toggle between the image acquisition modes, press the Continuous, Snapshot, or Cine Mode button. When acquiring images in Continuous Mode, X-rays cease as soon as the X-ray button or pedal is released. When in Snapshot Mode, one image is captured and displayed when the X-rays are actuated. Cine Record gathers all images acquired in a Cine Loop. You can choose the level of noise suppression by pressing the NS button in the Function Buttons bar. High or Ultra should be used when there is no motion of the anatomy and a high image clarity is needed. When in motion, noise suppression should be turned off. Auto mode varies the setting depending on the motion detected. To keep an image on the side of the screen, click the Tag as Reference button at the top of the screen. To change the dose rate, click the Dose button in the Function Buttons bar. Auto Mode automatically adjusts the kilovolt and or milliamp to acquire an enhanced image. Manual kilovolt and or milliamp allows the user to manually increase or decrease the kilovolts and or milliamps. Low dose automatically adjusts the kilovolts and or milliamps to decrease the dose to the patient by up to 50% compared to auto mode. Choose between standard and high resolution by clicking the resolution button at the top of the screen. High resolution provides an option to use all pixels in the detector. The alarm timer will sound after 5 minutes of radiation time. To reset the timer, click the reset timer button in the function buttons bar. Pinch to zoom allows the user to magnify the image. Double-click on an image to display it in Mega-View mode. This provides the ability to display a 50% larger image. We will now review the image tools, which will allow you to edit the image. Sharpen is defaulted on Always. Rotate rotates the image counterclockwise or clockwise. Flip makes images flip before being viewed by the user. Dark Fluoro makes images have their white image pixels changed to black. The zoom button magnifies the current image two times. Annotations can be used to mark the image there are preset options, or an annotation can be manually typed. To adjust the brightness or contrast, you can use the monitor or the keyboard. On the keyboard, use the up and down arrows to adjust the brightness. 
or use the left and right arrows to adjust the contrast. Once finished taking images, click the Review button to review the images. All the images that were taken will now be here. To save images, click the image and hit the Save button. An S will appear in the corner of the image showing that it has been saved. By clicking Control on the keyboard, multiple images can be selected and saved at once. To delete images, select the image and then simply click Delete. To print, select the image and click Print. To download images, insert an external drive and click Export. Then click the appropriate device. Press the DAP button to look at the DAP report. This will show the patient dose and exposure time. Press the DICOM Send button to send the selected images to a DICOM system. To end the session, click End Session. If any images are not saved, a message will pop up asking if you would like to proceed. Once you click End Session again, any unsaved images will be deleted. Now let's discuss some simple usage tips. If the image taken looks grainy like this, the noise suppression may be too low. Try increasing the noise suppression and take a new image. If the image taken during movement looks blurry, the noise suppression may be too high. Try lowering the noise suppression and take a new image. If the image is too dark like this, Increase the kilovolts and take a new image. If it is too light like this, decrease the kilovolts and take a new image. If the collimator is left in between the limited view and full field view options, an error message will show up on the screen. Simply move the collimator fully to one side to fix the error. If the foot pedal is not taking images, it is likely the time to change the batteries. Change them and try again. <laughs>